This is my uh, my new junk car here. Runs good, gets pretty good fuel mileage. I uh, found it on Craigslist for a thousand bucks, and I uh, didn't really pay that much out of my own pocket for it. I traded a couple of 22 rifles, uh, signed over my Google check, and gave the guy 250 cash, and here we are. And I bought it because uh, we're at work. There's just nothing but mud. I work in mud, I park in mud, and uh, I was getting mud all over my really nice pickup truck, and it was just breaking my heart to leave that thing parked in the mud at work and getting mud all in the inside and the carpet. So, anyway, here I am 97 Hyundai Accent. And I uh, looked all over the internet and couldn't find anything to tell me how to uh, replace this broken door handle. I have to reach inside here and move uh, a rod to get in and out of the door. So uh, I bought a door handle for 12 bucks online, brand new. And I'm going to show you how to put that in. Because I've already done the other side. Now that I know how it's done, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this side. So let's, let me get this uh, door panel off and I'll show you how that's done. It's got little plastic clips that hold it on plus a few screws. And uh, there's screws on either side of this. There's a screw right here. Oh crap, here comes a, hold on. That little interruption was the, uh, my wife's Valentine's Day flowers showing up by the uh, delivery people and uh, I had to run and grab my dog because he doesn't know to stay out from underneath the wheels of moving vehicles. So anyway, I got all the screws removed. The uh, door lock just unscrews and comes off there. Uh, I've got these screws pulled out. And there's one thing here that's a little difficult to do. Right here, there's a wire clip that holds this onto the uh, knurled metal stud that sticks out. And the way you get a hold of the metal clip is you go in with this hook and it's just hit or miss so you have to try it you know until you actually hook on to this little wire clip and uh, I'm gonna need both hands to do that but when I get it off I'll show you what it looks like uh, it's gone hard to do just because you can't see back there so uh, I'm gonna get that off and then I'll show you how to take this door panel off because behind the door panel there's these little plastic clips all along the bottom and uh, side that pop into uh, the, they pop into holes and you have to pull them out real careful or else uh, this is just some kind of real cheap fiber behind this and you have to get a, a flat blade like a putty knife I'm just using a screwdriver and get it right up next to that clip and pop the clip out of the, uh, the metal door behind the, the, the panel. Okay, I'm gonna work on this and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get it off. And <clears throat> there is the uh, little metal clip that slides behind it right there. And uh, I reached in behind it with that hook and grabbed a hold of it. Now I gotta put my uh, needle nose on there. And uh, all right. There it goes. I dropped the clip, but uh, I'll find it and show you what the clip looks like. This is uh, what that looks like. That clip holds the uh, window crank on. It fits in that slot back there. And it fits through that slot there and that slot there. Really hard to get. And you got to fiddle around with this here behind it and and just hope you hook on it and uh you know after several tries you're you're, you're gonna get it but uh that's the hardest part of this all right i'm gonna uh, start popping these little plastic clips off and uh pull the door panel off and i'll show you what them plastic clips look like oh uh, yeah here's another important piece of information you need to get this door panel off this has little hooks in it that hook into a couple slots. The hooks are right about here. 
and they hook into slots and what you have to do is raise it up back here and slide this forward yep I did it <laughs> one hand and then you just sort of uh, turn it to the side and wiggle that door handle through the panel it'll it'll come off but I'm gonna need two hands so uh, I'll get this off okay it's it's off this is what it looks like behind that I gotta pull all this off so I can uh, get to the door handle behind this but uh, you see those those hooks yeah. right there and they fit in that little slot right there and slide forward and to get it off you have to slide this that way and pull out and then wiggle it through the uh, door panel here. Okay, These are the little plastic clips that are along the bottom and back edge of the door and they just pop into these holes here. They just press in and all I did was slide a, a screwdriver up behind it and uh, pry it out and they just pop right out. Okay, this is the old door lock and to get it out of the old door handle you just pull that little clip and to put it into the new door handle it's got these tapered wedges you don't need to remove this clip to put the door, the door lock in because it's got these tapered wedges that hold it in you see them you see them wedges right here the clip slides in over the top of that and then locks into the back of that so the only time you need to remove that little clip is to take this out and uh, so I'm going to uh, snap this in here, but uh, I'm going to need both hands to do that. Okay, I I'm showing you this particular part one more time because it really is uh, the second hardest part of this job besides uh, getting this off, getting that clip off. Is, it is a son of a gun. There's just no room to work. You can't see what you're doing. Uh, but fortunately, you see, let's see, where am I? This thing is tapered a little bit at the end. So you don't have to, you can put the clip on this and then put this on, and the clip will, because of that taper, will slide over that. So it's going to be a little easier going on. This is what I wanted to show you one more time, just to make sure you, if you're looking for this on the internet, somebody, because this is, apparently this door handle breaks a lot. From what I understand, uh, the different forums I've gone to trying to find uh, a picture of what this looks like, you know, how to take the door off and all that. But anyway, this slides forward. Once you pull that screw out, right there, pull that screw out and pull the door panel loose, and then you slide everything forward and pull it out. You see, got the little hooks in there, and they fit in them slots right there and slide forward forward to come out okay I won't bore you with that anymore uh, this was a son of a gun let me tell you but it's on and it works that's nice because I've been having to reach my hand in that hole there and feel around for the wire to open the door and the, and the lock works which is a good thing too because I've got all my fittings and tools and some pretty you know, that's aluminum. A crackhead would love to get hold of that and take it to a scrapyard. Okay, I'm going to put this door panel back on and uh, reassemble it. I think the uh, only thing I really need to show you is putting that door, that window crank back on. Uh, I'll show you how that goes back on. Okay, I have slid that clip back on there. You see how it holds it in? You slide it over and it locks into that groove back there. So here's what I'm fixing to do. And then give it a good wrap. There we go. And while I was in there, while I was in this door, I I greased everything. I greased the, uh, the mechanism that raises and lowers the window. This window was so stiff to raise and lower, you had to actually put your hand on the glass and pull it up. And now it rolls up, uh, rolls up and down real good, without any effort at all. I greased the uh, locking mechanism in here, 